Hi folks, Dr. Byer. Today we're going to be talking about reason number four why you suffer from migraine headaches. If you've been watching my video series, you need to understand, though you already know, that migraine headaches are a neurological problem. They are a functional neurological problem. There's rarely, 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 like one out of 10,000 times are they due to brain tumors and things that you can see on an MRI or a CT scan, which is why many of you have had those scans and it didn't show anything because you can't see dysfunctional neurons on an on image, okay? You can only see tumors and malformations and bleeds and things like that. So it's a functional neurological problem, but what's causing the dysfunction? What's making the neurons in your brain sick? Well, today we're gonna to talk about one of those reasons and that's adrenal gland dysfunction. Now, how can your adrenal glands cause, be a, a contribute to your migraine headaches? Well, here's how. The adrenals make a very important hormone called cortisol. Cortisol, many of you have heard of, but what it does is it helps to raise our blood sugar when we need it. Like, for example, when we're exercising, uh, like marathon runners or someone who works out for longer than an hour, we don't have enough blood sugar or glucose in our system to maintain that activity. Cortisol helps us to break down stored blood sugar, known as glycogen, or it tells the liver to make new blood sugar called, uh, in a process called gluconeogenesis so that we can raise our blood sugar when we need it. Also, when we're sleeping, so, you know, we're not eating when we're sleeping, so our blood sugar, if it goes too low, that's not a good thing, and so we have to have a, a mechanism on how to elevate it, which is why some of you may get exercise-induced headaches, or you may have headaches when you wake up in the morning, and that, this could be one of the reasons why. Cortisol also helps to manage inflammation, which is a topic for another day. Now, when your cortisol levels are too high, if your adrenal glands are being stressed too much, and there's a lot of reasons for that, um, psychological stress, but physical stress, poor diet, anemias, nutritional deficiencies, chronic inflammation, food sensitivities, and just many, many other reasons. But for whatever, if cortisol is too high, your blood sugar is going to go too high, and your brain hates that. And that area of the brain called the midbrain or mesencephalon that gets overactive, which causes migraine headaches, the vasodilation of migraine headaches, doesn't like that, and it'll start to, to dysfunction. Now, if, the, if your cortisol levels go too low, that's going to cause a condition where your blood sugar goes too low, known as reactive hypoglycemia. These are the people that get irritable or angry or you know restless if they don't... Um, uh, eat, they don't eat for a while, or some of you may wake up and you're not hungry at all, that's a sign of this, or waking up in the middle of the night is a sign of reactive hypoglycemia. Your brain does not like when your blood sugar goes too high or too low. It hates that. It wants your blood sugar to be very stable. In fact, from a functional medicine point of view, that's one of the first things we have to do in people who suffer from headaches, especially migraine type headaches, is to stabilize blood sugar. And cortisol is a major player when it comes to that. We test for this. I'm Dr. Byer. Hope that helps. Have a great day.